Environmentally conscious individuals think about it when it comes to purchasing a car. Not only does the price matter, but also the fuel consumption factors in the decision to buy. For many years, there have existed environmental benchmarks to help guide car buyers, for example, from the German traffic organization. With this assistance, everyone can decide in favor of an eco-friendly car model. But airplanes also contribute greatly to global warming. One plane flying over the Atlantic and back causes the damage to the climate as if a car had been driven for an entire year. To what extent the airlines differ from each other regarding fuel efficiency is unknown. Although several airlines publish their own environmental benchmarks, the possibility to compare their efficiency is, for non-experts, challenging. Now, this will change thanks to Atmosphere, a German non-profit and award-winning organization with its headquarters in Berlin. Atmosphere is publishing the world's first climate ranking of the 100 largest airlines in the world. This will be presented to the public on March 9, 2011 at the International Travel Trade Show in Berlin. Atmosphere has come up with a set of six efficiency classes from A to F. Some are well known from buying a refrigerator, for example. A is the class showing the best efficiency. An A airline uses the least amount of fuel per passenger and kilometer. In the Atmosphere Airline Index, an airline is rated according to its fuel consumption per passenger and per kilometer. And here come into play inter alia the aircraft type, the engine type, the uh, seat capacity, the flight capacity, and the load factors. And if an airline manages to get on a given flight, on a certain distance, the maximum out of these factors, the airline gets 100 points. The index of the biggest European airline companies for short distance flights up to 800 kilometers is as follows. Air France and British Airways are better than Lufthansa and Alitalia. However, all of these airlines are in the D to F classes. None has the highest efficiency index. What is the reason for this? There's few airlines that exploit the technology potential that exists already today, meaning that in the fleets of the world, you'll find uh, a lot of uh, quite old aircraft. But on top of that, um, airlines could just increase their efficiency by putting more seats aboard an um, uh, airplane and um, increasing the load factor. It is important to note that the index depends also on the distance. Where long-distance flights are concerned, Lufthansa is one class better. British Airways, on the contrary, is one class lower. Air France remains in class D. If you are planning to fly, you can find the most environmentally friendly airline with the help of the Atmosphere Airline Index. So, you found the most eco-friendly flight, and you think you're ready to fly with a clear conscience? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. The columns in the middle and on the right side of the chart show the CO2 equivalent release of two long-distance flights. The column on the left side shows the climate budget of a single person. The annual budget of a single person is two tons of CO2, which isn't even enough for one long-distance flight of the efficiency of Class C. The main reason for a high climate budget by traveling is flying. Within one flight to your holiday destination, be it the Canary Islands or Egypt, you emit as much as driving a car for months or even a year. Therefore, Atmosphere compensates the air pollution in developing countries by realizing climate protection projects. Every passenger can give some amount of money for this purpose. The money is being used for the development of climate protection technology, such as the creation of an efficient firewood boiler in Nigeria. The boiler needs 80% less wood in comparison to the traditional three-stone stove. Thus, the people can save money even without changing their everyday habits. Each boiler saves exactly the same amount of CO2 that a car releases per year. Every atmosphere project is controlled and guaranteed by liable auditors, such as TUF. Furthermore, all documents are published on a UN website. These are truly important projects, but do they solve the climate issues caused by airplanes? What can the airplane industry do to save the planet? Offsetting is only a second best solution for the climate. The best solution will always remain to cut and to avoid emissions in the first place. And airline companies around the world 
could immediately save millions of tons of carbon by just putting more seats to the uh, aircraft, by just increasing the load factor.